Hey everyone, Ross Bukorkel here with another episode of the Depot 180. The 2024 NFL schedule release is set to happen tomorrow evening here on Wednesday. Typically, there are leaks that happen throughout the day, and we already have a handful of games officially announced by the various networks hosting them. This has already helped us to narrow down what could be the Week 1 matchup for the Steelers. Last year, that was the San Francisco 49ers, which was a very tough matchup, and the Steelers ultimately lost in a landslide to kick off the season. So far, we can rule out the Philadelphia Eagles, Baltimore Ravens, Cleveland Browns, Kansas City Chiefs, Dallas Cowboys, and New York Jets for Week 1 due to their games already being announced. That leaves eight possible teams. The Cincinnati Bengals are still on the table as a possible divisional matchup, but some of the favorites in terms of storylines that will play well are the Denver Broncos or the Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons and the Steelers both just got new quarterbacks, so plenty of intrigue there, and it would be offensive coordinator Arthur Smith's return to Atlanta, the team that fired him after a three-year stint as head coach. The Broncos would be the Russell Wilson revenge game, so that also makes a lot of sense for the NFL to schedule it that way. For what it's worth, NFL Network's Brian Baldinger said this morning that he is hearing it will be Steelers-Falcons in Week 1, but he also said that he isn't 100% rubber stamping that as truth, just what he has been hearing. 93.7 The Fans' Andrew Filipponi reported on X that the Steelers may be playing on Christmas Day this year. That falls on a Wednesday, but the NFL had a great showing on Christmas Day last year and want it to continue. There are two games going to be played that day. Given that it is a Wednesday, you would think the participating teams would be either playing on Saturday or Thursday the week prior, so there isn't such a close gap for safety concerns and recovery time for the players. Netflix is likely to host one or both of the Christmas Day games, but Amazon is reportedly making a late push to acquire those rights. As for the roster, the Steelers signed cornerback Anthony Averett, one of the veteran tryout players from rookie minicamp. I did a film room of him on the site where I broke down what he can offer the team. He is a good athlete and has great straight line speed to carry receivers deep, and his hips are pretty fluid to mirror in and out of breaks. The one big knock is that he is not the best tackler, or the most willing. He is also a pure outside corner, and the Steelers need more help in the slot than anything at the moment. He will be a solid competition with Corey Trice Jr. and Ryan Watts, if nothing else. Let me know how you enjoyed the video on Twitter at Ross underscore McCorkle, and as always, visit SteelersDepot.com for your latest and greatest Steelers breaking news and analysis.